Hello everyone, my name is Vic of US Market Biz and for today I'm going to share with you a token that is very very high potential and I'm also going to share with you um, its website and also some of its social media accounts, okay? So without further ado, let's proceed to the uh, topic. So this is the token. The name of the token is DAV Coin. So currently it's ranked 677 in coin market cap. And as you can see, it this is its price. And currently, it has an increase of 16.05%. And the market cap of this token is 2,699,000. The volume in the 24 hour period is 97,000 USD. The circulating supply is 454 million DAVs. The total supply is. 1,380,276,000 DAVs, okay? So, this is the chart for DAV, okay? And you can get this token at these exchanges. So, these are Bitforex, Heat, BTC, Bilexi, and LA token. And, of course, IDEX, okay? So, you can also follow its Twitter account. A DAV network right so let's go to their website so so that we can uh, understand what this project is or what this DAV what is DAV coin okay so DAV is uh, decentralized autonomous vehicles it is the coin of transportation it's blockchain based transportation protocol enabling a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer global transportation network okay so they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain so there are two videos here the first video is an overview of DAV the second video is the first Australian company to utilize DAV protocol for shipping and logistics so these are their social media accounts so they have their um, telegram their cacao talk, their Twitter, their GitHub. Okay. Their GitHub, their YouTube, their LinkedIn, their Reddit, their Facebook, and their Medium. So this is their Telegram group. Currently there are 80 30,000 members. Uh, this is their cacao talk. So Right, their Twitter at Dab Network, their GitHub, so the Dab Foundation, their um, YouTube, okay, and their LinkedIn, the Reddit their Facebook so they have this their Facebook also and also their medium page okay so DAV protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services or put their own manned or autonomous vehicles on the network creating a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transportation ecosystem so what blockchain means to transportation today so decentralized ride healing Convenient city transportation and decentralized man deliveries. So, what blockchain means for transportation tomorrow? Autonomous drone deliveries, autonomous carriers, autonomous ride sharing. Okay, so their blockchain enables a verifiable ledger of historical data from service providers, man or autonomous vehicles, and, and users needed for insurers and third parties. A completely decentralized system that isn't controlled by any government, bank, or company. A global payment standard between vehicles and their supporting infrastructure. A built-in smart mission contract which enables trustless cooperation between multiple vehicles and service providers. So those are the four. And their technology. So 
Diavison is a framework of open source software, open source hardware, and free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services. So their uh, technology consists of three major components. So these are um, the centralized discovery, communication protocol, and trustless cooperation tools. So that the centralized discovery is DAV allows autonomous vehicles to discover each other as well as service providers and clients around them. DAV implements decentralized node discovery. Using a peer-to-peer -peer protocol that does not rely on a central server instead, nodes are listed in a distributed hash table which can be accessed in an extremely efficient way. The communication protocol. So DAV defines a library of standardized communication protocols for various transportation scenarios. The communication is divided into two groups, on blockchain communication done directly by calling smart contracts and through events emitted by those smart contracts. The second one is off blockchain communication. Blockchain communication done peer to peer using the apps protocols. Third one is trustless cooperation between buyers and sellers of transportation services is, is achieved using a series of specialized con smart contracts. So these smart contracts enable multi party contracts between buyer, seller, and when needed between arbitrator, uh, insurer, and others. Okay, so these contracts are tied indirectly to the DAV token guaranteeing financial resolution for transactions between multiple parties without requiring any pre-established trust. Okay, so let's explore what they've built so far, th so far, so their protocols. So the first one is drone charging network. The current status for this is that um, there's uh, five charging stations in northern Italy already that has made that was made possible by one of their alliance member. So the stations offer charging services through the DAV network in exchange for DAV tokens. The next one is drone flight planning. So this one is that the drone will follow a route and or a pass waypoint so that you'll know where, where your drone is and you'll know what, what time will the drone arrive so you really monitor your drone okay so the current status for this is that integration with the dive alliance member has been completed and that service is currently offered in nevada usa okay so next one is the drone missions app so missions is the first app built to showcase the dev ecosystem it connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones users request drone services drone bid for those services and trustless cooperation is enabled by using the blockchain so the current status is integration with the first drone partner counter express is underway okay so the dev cli testnet so their command line interface tool was built to make developing applications and services that interact with dev a much more pleasant experience it allows developers to easily run a local testnet containing dev contracts Generate identities secured by private and public keys and register them on the blockchain. This allows anyone to easily scaffold new projects or modify an existing one to interact with them and more. So the current status for this is fully functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects. Work on connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress. Okay, so the next one is the DAO developer portal. So the developer portal incorporates API documentation, communication protocols, and instructions for running their command line interface, local testnet, and block explorer. So the current status is communication protocols written and the user guide for their cell tools tools is now av available. The next one is the block explorer. So their block explorer allows users to explore uh, 
local Ethereum testnets. This eases development and debugging for developers building apps and services on top of the app. Work is underway to package the block explorer, enabling it to launch automatically from the DAB CLI tools. The next one is Mission Controls. Mission Control serves as the discovery and communication layer that connects and keeps track of vehicles, users, and services. Their status is fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries currently being expanded to support the vehicles of their first partners. The autonomous boat is a boat that uh, as you can see is a boat that demonstrates the true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs allowing it to operate independently independently for long periods at sea so when Nemo runs low in energy it connects to the DAV network purchase and pay for charging services with the DAV tokens and after it charges it heads back to sea so this is the DAV the autonomous boat so the current status for this is both is ready, work on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAV network is in progress. Here's the next one is a search and rescue robot. So, DAV and Osarian a robotics prototyping platform are developing a POC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone search and rescue missions. The rover will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners, go to their last known location and then using its onboard LiDAR and computer vision find them and send back their exact coordinates. So Rustbot's computer vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones, okay? So these are those are their protocols. So they've made a lot already. And okay, so these are community built modules. So this is the roadmap also. It's also found here. Uh, their white paper is downloadable here. Their advisors from renowned companies from NASA, Ethereum, Equinix, uh, from SAP, from FAA, from UPS, from Bancor, from IBM, all right, from Cisco, and from Ford. Okay, so these are their main team. Okay. And since DAV is an open source project, uh, they have a lot of open source contributors also. So as you can see, right, so DAV Alliance members brings together members of the transportation industry so that we, they may collaborate on standards and innovations for a global decentralized network. So this is their Alliance page. So the DAV Alliance is, co is a coalition of enterprises, innovators, and leaders in the transportation industry. So their purpose is to bring together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate uh, on innovations and standards for a global decentralized network, right? So the members of the DAV Alliance benefit from shared knowledge and influence and blockchain technology and the DAV protocol. Okay, so if you want to become a member of their alliance you can fill out the form here and then join the alliance right okay so their invitation to their telegram group uh, their youtube some facts about dab okay so this is it and that is dab okay so dab coins so you better include this to one of your um research or better include this to some coins that you will research right so this is a token this is not a coin all right so dab coin so before i go i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself right so guys this is Vic once again signing off bye bye